In the far south of Fiordland, where chalky cliffs meet raging sea, the name Richard Henry is legendary. He could well be 100 years old, but he's a minimum of 37, and he could be much, much older than that. 27 years ago, Richard Henry was plucked from Fiordland at a time when it was plagued by predators. Richard Henry was the only survivor. He's uh, pretty, he's big. Um, he's, handsome. Oh, he's handsome. He's quiet as a rule. Um, sort of Sean Connery type. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'd know. <laughs> now Richard Henry is the great hope for a new generation on Chalky Island, Fiordland. It's a pretty special time to have him coming back here. But before Richard Henry returns, we have a journey of our own to make from Invercargill to the islands of the Deep South. A journey with a man whose vision it was to make Chalky safe for Kakapo. Alan Munn and his devoted assistant Heidi. Nothing has sort of got to me like this thing. Um, I feel a responsibility of people that employ me, the taxpayer in New Zealand and the people in New Zealand, to do my work well. I, um, I feel very privileged to have had a close association with one of the world's great creatures. And almost all those great creatures now live here, Codfish Island, Whenua Ho, off the western coast of Stewart Island. It's a sanctuary set up for breeding. This year, 25 new chicks have brought the world's kakapo population to 86. Nine birds from Codfish Island are about to be gathered up and taken to Chalky. The females specially selected to meet Richard Henry. There's some absolutely lovely specimens coming across for him. Girls he hasn't seen before? Yes, girls he hasn't seen before. Get in here, Heidi. And why are you taking them off the island? Well, it's quite an exciting time for us, really, because the birds have bred up to such an extent, and they're starting to, um, some of the males are taking a dislike to the new chicks, and that's one reason that, that we probably need to get a few off. Get in here, Heidi. Kakapo owe a lot to Alan Munn. He helped save them from extinction. In the 80s, he was part of a team that rescued the last few dozen birds on cat-infested Stewart Island. Just off here, is she? Yeah, she's just, she's blooming handy. Birds that helped build the population that now exists here on Codfish. One single kakapo sent him on a mission. Finding that bird in 1983, Solomon his name was, I can remember his band number, R360360. To this day, and, and finding him dead, killed by a cat, was, um, you know, it was a life-changing experience, really. Mm. You were quite, quite close to the bird here, Ros. With the help of Heidi and a radio receiver, he's moving in on Sandra, one of the originals from Stewart it's Island. Okay. You got her? Yeah. Whereabouts was she, Alan? Oh, he's just parked up there by in front of the dog's nose there, see? Uh-huh. Here, Heidi, come here. Sandra, incredibly calm, is an adult bird at least in her 20s. Having hatched two chicks, she's an excellent prospect for Richard Henry and an excellent catch. Does Heidi get a reward for that? No. Finding birds is her job. <laughs> yeah, she, you don't want her too excited. You know, she's just, she finds them and that's her job. Not even a pat on the head? No, a pat on the head. All right. Good dog. <laughs> Faint praise for the dog that's the best in the business. She's made around 200 catches. Without dogs, these birds would be pretty much extinct now. But there's another young female to be found. We'll just, um, we'll leave Sandra here. That'll be all right. Yep. We'll just for a few minutes and we'll go and catch Hokey. Yep. We can smell Hokey's strong, musky scent. A dead giveaway if predators were here. Yeah, Jan Janet, the bird's just here somewhere. The dog's set on it. I just can't quite see it yet. Not blessed with self-defence mechanisms, the birds can't fly, and Hokey is likely to freeze when approached. Just go quietly and slowly and we'll just pick her up. And just when she's safely out of sight in a good little hidey hole... 
Hoki lets us know where she is. Females have a habit of doing that. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, they'll bite you most times. So it's just a matter of just quietly reaching and not panicking and just getting hold of the boom gently but firmly and getting her out so you don't do her too much damage or any damage. Yeah. Not exactly business class for this national treasure, Hokey, age 10, was the first bird reared by hand. Carry these back down to the hut now, Janet. Yeah, there's your one. Um, I think that's Sandra, that one. Yeah, so just don't bash it on anything. <laughs> oh, it's a good feeling when you've caught them, isn't it? You know, yeah, it was sort of exciting catching new birds, you know, saving them from the cats. That was really good. 130 kilometres to the northwest, Chalky Island, Fiordland. As desolate as it gets. There's nothing more here than a dock hut under renovation. The handyman is also the senior scientist, Dr. Graham Elliott. What we expect over the next few months is that we'll dump them on the island and they'll just rocket around all over the place figuring out where the food resources are and where the good nesting sites are and hopefully they'll have all settled down by next summer. They'll be in good condition and ready to breed. How important is Richard Henry in this plan? Well he's very important because all the rest of the birds we've got now come from Stuart Island so Richard Henry's the last of the mainland birds and he came from Fiordland not that far from here and he's slightly different in the, in the way he behaves and his coloration and things like that and, and we need genetic variability in our population so we're putting him here with a good selection of very attractive females and a bunch of old crocs of males that we think he can outcompete. Tell me what he does. Um, he pump, he's got these big air sacs in his chest and around his shoulders and he blows himself up and he sits there and he goes boom, mmm, mmm, like this. A subtle sound, the call of the male kakapo, but it can be heard for five kilometres. And he, he, he just uses that as an advertisement for here am I, I'm a marvellous male, come and mate with me. What kind of boom does Richard Henry have? Richard Henry's has proved to be quite attractive because when he's mated once before on Maud Island when the females there had a choice of three or four boys who were all furiously booming away and they chose Richard Henry so we're optimistic that Richard Henry has, a, has a, got a good boom. And so it begins the flight of the flightless. Kakapo, 14 in total, ferried onto Chalky from Stewart Island in the southeast and from Maud Island in the Marlborough Sounds, the VIP party. This is Korea, Richard Henry's daughter. And this is Richard Henry. Richard Henry there. Each box represents an investment of hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's expensive, bringing a species back from the brink of extinction. Sponsorship has helped. This work led by Alan Munn to eradicate stoats from the island to make it safe for Kakapo. This work alone has taken four years. There would be New Zealanders who would think, why should we care about a fat parrot? Yes, and I, I think those people were sort of more common 50 years ago than they are today, actually. I, I know very few people who think we're wasting our time here. One by one, Kakapo take their first steps on new soil. Breathtakingly beautiful one moment, perfectly blended the next. So this is a very important moment for you, Alan? Well, it is. It's, you know, after all the the effort of you know over a hundred people over the last 20 years it's sort of marvelous to see this marvelous old bird coming back to field and mm. 
fantastic. Do you fantastic. think? Do you think he'll be aware that he's back in Fiordland? Well, I don't, who knows? You know, they're they um. Who knows? Yeah. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? He is amazing. So just, just um, with your bottom hand. Very few people have ever seen Richard Henry, no, 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 let alone held him. Just go gently. He's quiet. Oh, he's so okay. gentle. Yeah, just he's It's quiet. incredible that he'd just sit there so calmly like that. Yeah. And there you've got one of the the last Fiordland kakapo. Well, I feel yeah. very privileged. Yeah. <laughs> he's a. Uh, Got a strong aroma. <laughs> yeah. So what what we want him to do is to dominate the island and uh, be the loudest and best booming bird. And we want the females to mate with him, as opposed to one of the lesser mortals. And see how he's closing his eyes now. He's sort of sleeping. We, we should let him go now. Let him go. Yeah. Let, let's let him go. Richard Henry. Okay. The hearts and minds of all New Zealanders are with you. <laughs> just just sit him down there, and he'll be fine. Just. And he lets me know no, it well, really just, is just time. Just, just let him go. Let him go. Let him go. There you go. Right, right. Go forth, Richard Henry. We look forward to news of Richard Henry Jr. <laughs>